Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? Hope everyone is having a good day. I am still a little sick, but I am finally going to leave my house today. So, I don't know if you could see, but I cleaned up my area. I did. I cleaned everything up. And that little group where those uh, canvases are of cups are now sitting in front of you. So I had to throw away a couple of cups of paint because they were just too dry. So I don't know how many I have here. Three, six, uh, nine, ten, about eleven cups of paint. And this guy here already has uh, different mixtures of paint already in it. So today we are going to do a pour with leftover paint because you know the new year is coming i want to kind of start off fresh even though there will be a few more videos before the new year um but i just want to kind of clean up my whole space organize it um and just kind of come up with you know new ideas great ideas for you guys in the next year and i can't believe it's been four months already i believe since i started this channel so I am excited to think of new things and do new stuff. So we have a lot of nice colors in here. Uh, there are some pouring masters in here because I just did, you know, recent videos with pouring masters. There's definitely Montmartin here. Those pretty blues. Um, I, now I could get to clean out these cups, reuse them. And then in that big daddy of a cup, I don't know what is in there. I am totally clueless. But I know this is a lot of the Montmartre um, and Pouring Masters in here. So we're going to mix all that together. But I'm not going to stir it. I'm just going to, you know, put everything in one big cup. And I probably I was going to use a clean cup, but um, I kind of don't want to disturb what the heck is going on in here. So... Uh, a lot of times, you know, leftover paint pours can be very interesting because you don't even remember what you had in there. So just let you know, there could be silicone, there could be Floetrol, uh, there may be some Arteza, there may be um, anything I have. Anything you've seen me use, Ars Love Premix, now Montmartre, and Pouring Masters. There's probably going to be, you know... Um, all types of uh, pouring mediums in there that could be the Montmartre pouring medium uh, let's see what else could be in there it could be the uh, US art supply aka the pour what came with the pouring masters so there could be a lot of stuff in there okay and also for the new year I can't wait you know, after the holidays, because obviously I had to spend money on gifts. Well, not obviously, but, you know, I did spend money on gifts. And um, and I still, of course, did um, part of my Christmas gift from my uh, husband was he gave me some money and I got to get what I wanted with it. Uh, so I did buy some art supplies with that. But in the new year, I want to start, you know, I already have stuff in my cart. <laughs> It is like a 48 color uh, pouring masters um, set, but those the 48 colors is not going to be eight ounce bottles. They're actually like more like the Arteza, which is um, like two ounces each. So um, yeah, so that's all I want to do for the new year. I want to start kind of exploring some more art supplies, um, not necessarily uh, just like pouring acrylics. But just like different paint brands. Um, I heard some stuff about milk paint. I don't know much about it. So I maybe want to like dive into that a little bit. I just want to like go deeper into, you know, doing more stuff and uh, exploring new materials. And also finding new things to like pour out of. And actually I really want to buy some wood pieces and uh pour over those because i think that's actually cool um 
little projects to do, like pouring over different shapes, different characters. Who knows what I could find? This like plain wood stuff. So quickly before, I'm going to come back after I have poured all these paints in that cup. Okay, I'm not going to have you sit through that. Um, I just want to show you how uh, yesterday's video, The uh, I'll link it here, the James Charles uh, palette um, inspired painting uh, dried real quick. So it did have a lot of texture, but and it got darker. But I absolutely love it. It, it kind of, I don't know, it give, it's giving me like Halloween vibes. Has that like weird, creepy kind of glow to it. Um, let me get this. That ring light is annoying me. Yeah. Uh, this is actually, I love this. I love the texture in it. It's not like heavy with texture, but I just love that. And it has all the colors just really represented there uh, the pink definitely the black the red that beautiful blue and the um, violet the purple I just really love the way that dried and I actually really like the texture in here so I am very happy with it and like I said the um, the trans in uh, uh, can't even talk the canvas board <laughs> really like held up very well it did not warp it really didn't it did not warp and there was plenty of paint and it dripped off so yeah it did change a lot there that's what i meant to tell you um there was a lot more reaction uh within the paint and the flow troll so there was like more cells the paint was breaking apart it was shifting around but to me in a really great way so i love this i absolutely love it so let's get started I'm gonna come back in a minute after I have poured all this paint in the cup and we will do a pour today and I don't know what I'm feeling uh, I could just be a straight pour I don't know I'm gonna like wait until um, I actually pour and make a decision literally at the moment of like if it's gonna be a ring pour you know I don't know right now what I feel like doing it may just be a straight pour and I'm actually going to use once again, the 9 by 12 um, canvas board. I really like these. I want to do like a whole series of like just canvas uh, board paintings and like uh, maybe get some cool frames or something like that because obviously these are easy to frame. Just slide it in. That's why I kind of like them. But these are really good. I'm definitely going to order these again. All right. So, and I need more canvas. I like going through it crazy and I'm saving those big ones back there um, for when um, Stacy Nicole from Artsy Fartsy Lovers you know whenever she's done you know uh, there were some issues with getting some supplies for what she wanted to do with our collab um, unfortunately so you know she could take her time there is literally no rush and I'm talking to you Stacy there's no rush don't no worries no stress about it but um, I'm saving those larger canvases for uh, the project I want to do. Or I may find something else to put those paintings on top of. I'm actually in search for something as well. So I will be right back and let's get started. All right, see you in a sec.
Hey guys, I am back. So, here are all the empty cups. Now I get to clean them out, reuse them. And I actually had enough paint. Well, the first, here's the first one. Um, I think what happened was that the I was struggling a little bit to get to the edges. I should have added some black or white to the edges so it would be easier for me. But, um... I didn't do that <laughs> but uh, the, some of the paint was all on the thicker side so hopefully it won't dry crazy but this came out pretty cool um, some of the colors to me were very muddied in here but now that it's kind of settling a bit um, I see uh, some of these really pretty colors there's a lot of yellows and oranges and sometimes I can make um, the painting muddied sometimes but some cool stuff going on in here and I am glad I stopped pouring because usually I get like so into pouring that I forget I am pouring too much so that's why I stopped when I did and I decided to do a bonus painting today which I love much more than the first one and I'm so happy I did that and then I realized that I'm not gonna have enough paint to the edges instead of just forcing it I just let it be and this came out very cool I love doing um, black negative space and because I saw that pretty blue going on in there I think yeah I chose the black instead of white edges I love that so I am very happy with this one and I'm actually excited I want to I don't know what I want to do with these uh, canvas boards. Um, I don't know if I just want to frame them or like find, I don't know, like another way to display them or something. I may finish off the backs with, with some really nice like cardstock. I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. I'll find something in my travels to display these in a different way or something like that or make like a little um, stand or something in the back and not frame them um i don't know i will figure something out if you guys have any suggestions let me know i love hearing from you guys and by the way i just want to say welcome to any new subscribers out there thank you so much for joining and um just being part of the community i think it's awesome i have people from every type of community in here and i will absolutely love that because that's what I do too. I watch a lot of different YouTubers, especially gaming, so, and art. Those are my two big ones. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this, guys. It felt good getting rid of, um, you know, I didn't want the paint to dry up and be, you know, just literally in the garbage. And I've done that before, and it annoyed me that I just wasted so much paint. So I am learning not to be wasteful. All right. So, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.